We're finding the cube root of seven to nine digit numbers. For this example, we're going to be finding the cube root of 143,055,667. The first step that I will take with the students is to mark off the periods. So we're counting over three digits and marking it with a tick. And this tells us that our answer will have three digits. I have made myself a little note of our moments that we will be taking with the hierarchical cubes the 10 steps, and I'll just leave this to the left on my rug, just as a reference. The first cube root that we're looking for will be in the first period, and we have 143. The students can refer to their chart, and or they may be able to tell me that they know that the largest cube that we'll be able to make with that would be the cube of five, with a value of 125. So we'll record that. And using our hierarchical cubes, we're going to be representing that with our 100 cube. And that's the blue cube. And we can do the next step, which is subtracting 125 from 143. And we are left with 18. And we'll be bringing another digit down. And that's the 0, so we have 180. But looking back at our cubes, we know that the next step is we're going to be building out and up. And if we follow our 10 moments, we know that we're going to be using the 100 square, 10 high prism. So we're going to build out and then up. And we've done that three times. So we'll record that by filling in our hundreds and our tens, but we're unsure at this point of our value of 10. So we are going to be taking our 3n squared, which will be 3 times 5 squared. So we have 25 times 3, or 75. And we'll have 180 divided by 75. And that's going to equal 2. So it looks like our second digit, or our trial root, is going to be 2. And then we can fill in our 3h squared t. We'll take our hundreds, which is 5 squared, and we're multiplying that by the tens, which we know is 2, and we're taking that 3 times. So we have 25 times 2 is 50, times 3 is 150, and we'll be subtracting that from 180, and we are left with 30. We'll bring down another digit. And the next thing we'll be finding, we're going to be building with our 10 squared and 100 high prism. And then we'll be finding the value of that. So we have 3 times 100 times 10 squared. So we have 5 times 2 squared 3 times. And that equals 60. And so we're left with 245. And we're looking for our next building out. And that's going to be with the prisms that are showing us that they're 100 square. And these are going to be our unit high. So we're building out. And so we have three of those, and those again are 100 square times unit. And again, we'll be using our 3n squared, which we know is 75. So we're going to be dividing 245 and dividing that by 75, and that gives us 3. So we have a trial root for our units of 3. We can fill that in. So we're going to have 5 squared times 3 
and we'll take that three times. So we have 25 times three is 75, times three again is 225, and we're subtracting that from 245, and we're left with 20. We'll bring down our next digit, and we have 205. We're going to be confirming our 10 cube. We already know that 10 is equal to two, so if we have two cubed, that is equal to eight. So now we're subtracting eight from 205, and that leaves us with 197. Our next step, we'll be using our soldiers to build out and up. This is our hundreds times tens times units. And now we can go over to our paper and find the numeric value of those. So we have hundreds, which is five, times our tens, or two, times our units, which we found was three. And we're taking that six times. And that is equal to 180. So we are subtracting 180 from 197. And that leaves us with 17. We'll be bringing down another digit. And so now we're working with 176. We are now building out with our 100 high and unit square. So we're going to be building out and up. And that was our 100 times unit squared. We'll go back over to our paper and we have five times three squared three times, and that is equal to 135. So we'll subtract 135 from 176, and we are left with 41. Now we are building out with our 10 square and our unit high prism. Building out and up. And we'll come over and record our work. This time we're taking our 10 squared times unit, so we have two squared times three, and we're doing that three times, and that is equal to 36. So we're subtracting 36 now from 41. And that leaves us with five. We're bringing down our next digit, which is six. So we have 56. And if we look at our chart, we're now working with the 10 times unit square. So we have our unit square, and it's 10 high. And again, that one is our tens times unit squared. Or we have 2 times 3 squared three times. And that is equal to 54. So we're subtracting 54 from 56, and we're left with two. We're bringing down our last digit, which is seven, and that leaves us with 27. The students can look at their chart to confirm that we have a cube with a value of 27, or the cube of three. That's gonna go here. And we know that our unit cube is equal to three cubed, and that does equal 27. So we have 27 minus 27, which is zero. The students can check their work by taking 523 cubed, or 523 times 523 times 523. And that will equal 143,055,000.
1,667.